Hello, this is Hakka Dabin, and today we are going to be reading SCP-4521. You'll have to speak up because my hearing isn't what it used to. But what I would like to call... The tree that won't scream. If you like this video, please leave a like on the video, comment down below, and subscribe to the channel. Now let's get right into this. And yes, I'm doing this because of all of the e e e shorts or TikToks or whatever of um, that one... Uh, on person who likes to cosplay as a an SCP researcher that is about this SCP. Anyway, item number SCP-4521. Object class safe. Special concern procedures. SCP-4521 is to be kept in sight at 551's and terrarium and only accessible to I person with level two clearance or higher. Additionally, attempts are to be made daily in an attempt to evoke vocalizations in SCP-4521. Description SCP-4521 is a Douglas fir tree with abnormal shapes and leaves. SCP-4521 was discovered within God's Silence, Oregon, after reports of an ear-piercing silence from within the trees with Cindy. Amnestics were administered and SCP-4521 was transferred by Implanted Foundation Agents to site 551. I just imagine it and and they're like, oh yeah, this tree just exists and doesn't make any noise. But it's like trees don't scream anyway. Anyway. Currently SCP 4521's anomalous property is that it is incapable of screaming. No apparatuses are found on SCP-4521 that allow it to scream, and attempting to create one has been met with failure. See testing log. Attempts are being made to revoke oak screaming within SCP-4521. No memetic or cognitive you know, has or this phenomenon originating from or affect SCP-4521. Yeah, no, but the SCP Foundation is going absolutely crazy trying to make a tree scream. Multiple attempts using a several other anomalies have been made to detect any screaming, but no screaming was detected. The following are attempts made by on-site personnel to eliminate SCP-4521's anomalous ability. Test 1. Carve a mouth on SCP-4521. Outcome. Several holes were placed upon SCP-4521 using a chainsaw. No screaming appears to emanate from these holes. Test 2. Use an extremely hot branding iron to imprint the word slave onto the base of the tree. No screaming detected. Brand disappeared within two days time. Test 3. Place multiple species of spiders upon SCP-4521's base. No screaming detected. Approximately 30% continued to stay on the tree. 50% of the aspires that stayed burrowed deeper or further air into the tree. No screaming was detected during this time. Take a tree that is genetically similar or related to SCP-4521 and slowly destroy it in close radius around it. Tree successfully destroyed over the course of 28 hours. No screaming detected. Take a tree that is genetically similar or related to SCP-4521 and redacted. Outcome. Redacted by a request of ethics committee. No screaming detected. Test 6. Use the D-class personnel under the effects of amnestics, of nefs, amnestics in the event that SCP-4521 screaming is anti No screaming detected. Test 7. Attempt to communicate with SCP-4521. Outcome. See attached audio file. Audio file 4521 interview with Dr. Hands and the Silent Tree. Uh, hello, 4521, can you hear me? Silence. Did you say something? Silence. Oh, that was my imagination. I'm sorry. Silence. Listen, do you want to talk? Do you have something on your mind? Just let it out. Silence. 
Come on, it's not healthy to bottle up. You can tell me I'm friendly. Silence. Do you not have reason to, you know? Silence. I do hope those thoughts in your head are doing you well, but they need to be let out. This is for your own good, I promise. Don't worry about making too much noise. I don't mind. Silence. Can you hear me? Can you even hear me while you're trapped in your mind? Can you see me through the foggy, muddy waters out of your eyes? Silence. Come on! The deafening silence is killing me! If you don't want to speak or at least scream, the test will continue. It's only healthy. Silence. Please, you're scaring me. Silence. You know, when I was a kid, I saw a kid. I took a bike lot I could crush his skull in. It went on for six minutes before being stopped by one of his friends, who I also clocked in the head. I went down the street and I saw this lady. She fell off her bike. It was the same bike I stole the bike lock from. Silence. I took that bike, cut up into with several small tingly pieces, and fed her, her the bike over the course of several hours. She just laid there with a broken leg and her stomach eventually ruptured. The black ooze that dripped from her stomach indicated someone might have called the cops. So I went home and locked my room. And do you know what I did? Silence. I screamed. I opened my mouth and let out the largest roar that was trapped in the, at the bottom of my lungs. All those wasted opportunities, all those memories fading away as the calming ring of my torn voice box filled the room. And look where I ended up. I got a doctorate and I'm working for one of the best organizations on earth. It's not too late. Silence. Or you haven't felt that thrill yet, have it? Ooh. Typical. Outcasts like you are born in some random remote part of Siberia. No other individual in sight. You're too weak to impress anyone, so you just say it by yourself. I see your game. Silence. But I can help you. You need to scream. Silence. You need to scream. You need to scream. Dr. Hans proceeds to say the exact same phrase for 37 hours before being escorted by on out by on-site guards in order to prevent death of de by dehydration. After waking from a short four-hour nap, Dr. Hans promised that he will not stop until this tree finally screams. Testing is to continue. End log. Now this is a link. A link. To something that I'll have to read another day. Maybe. Yeah, I'll read it, it tomorrow. Because I don't have time today, I'm afraid. That was SCP-4521. The tree that refuses to scream, even though it knows it's for the best if it does. If you like this video, please leave a like on the video, comment down below, and subscribe to the channel. I have... Oh wait, I, do, I just said what I'm going to do tomorrow. So I know what I'm going to be doing tomorrow. So until then, goodbye!